got two bags on right here. It's definitely a tight squeeze. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Nice and cozy. I dig it. Alright, just got into my little roomette on the Amtrak train. Going from San Antonio all the way to Oregon. That's right. 2,200 miles. Looks like I have a little privacy curtain right here. There we go. It's around 2.30 in the morning right now. This train is scheduled to depart at 2.45. This is my first time on a train. I'm really excited. It's really quiet in here. But then again, it is almost 3 in the morning, so maybe the other passengers are asleep. I have to go find the bathroom in this place. I, everyone who rents a sleeper room, a little roomette, shares a communal restroom that is separate from the coach seats, the cheaper seats. And then the bigger rooms, you're in a bigger room that has its own private bath and shower, I believe. So, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's, let's go find the bathroom. See what that's all about on this Amtrak train. Safety first. Hi. Oh, something cool about riding on the train? You're allowed to bring your own alcohol. <laughs> Save that for later. Secure a little window right here. Close our privacy blinds, and yeah, there we have it a little room. And in about 24 hours from now, I should be arriving in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, I will transfer over to Coast Starlight, which is another Amtrak route, which will take me up to Oregon. We just made a brief stop in El Paso, Texas. It is crazy hot out here, right? It's not. Yes. In El Paso right now. Hotter than San Antonio. Oh. <laughs> Still burning oh. up. Ah. <laughs> yes. Did you get that burrito? Yes. Is it good? They said it's this spicy. The spicy's good. <laughs> Sorry. Poor girl. Okay, let's check out the observation room car. Observation car.
tip bars. can be pretty wobbly and it really suck to fall down these steps. There's a big stability factor when doing squats on a train because it's moving. Just walking through this hallway can throw you from wall to wall, throw your balance off. So there's definitely an instability factor to add into your squats here. It makes it feel like much harder, almost as if I'm doing a squat on one of those BOSU balls or something. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff out here. Yeah. Well, you guys are getting off at Los Angeles? Yeah. You staying there? Yeah, we're over there. Hollywood and all that stuff. Oh, so you've been, how was it? It's different, it's cool. Well, you never been? Mm -hmm. You're just moving there? Yeah. Yep. Randomly, that's cool, that's ballsy. <laughs> I dig that. Do you guys mind if I ask you why you decided to take a train? I'm friendly. Okay, folks, we're just going to park in Mexico. I didn't want to sit up. We'll be bored for another quick stop, just like this one. Thank you. So, you decided to take the train because you're pregnant? It's. Yeah, seriously, because I didn't want to have to sit up for so long. I get like really nauseous and stuff, so it's easier to lay down. Okay, yeah, more space, it's, yeah. it's more, more comfortable. comfortable. Yes. It's the chillest mode of travel, I guess. It is, it really is. So, why? Air travel is cheaper and faster. Well, for me, it's simple. Air travel is all about getting from point A to point B, for the most part. And for me, that's not what this journey is about. It's about the experience. For me, it's about seeing parts of this beautiful country, the United States, from a different perspective. Actually seeing the connection from state to state. In flying, you don't really get to see anything. You just fly over it, and there's a there's just a disconnection from that. And I get to really experience the railroad system, part of what shaped this country. The United States and the railroad system grew up together. They used to be the main form of transportation before you know airplanes and driving became popular. And it's sort of an old school way of traveling here in the United States. That is until hopefully we get high speed rail here. But in the meantime, it's really cool to be able to enjoy an awesome old school sort of trip like this. I mean, isn't that amazing? To spread out, walk around, I get to eat, I get a drink. It's just, there's so much room. It's the chillest mode of travel by far. But you're gonna pay a little more, and it's gonna take much longer to get to where you're going. But you know what, if you've never done it before, like I haven't, this is my first time, first train ride, I'm loving it, then I highly recommend it. Get on a train, take a train ride, take a trip, do something different. For me, it's different. It's all about the experience. It's a bucket list thing. I've got to take a long train ride, just at least once in my life. But I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm liking this so much, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to take another long distance train ride. Even if you ride coach, you have plenty of space to stretch your legs out and you can get up out of coach and walk around. Coach is are the seats, the cheaper seats that you sit in the seats and you don't have a room. But even, even that way, you have much more space than flying. Kind of back workout. I did some dips, some knee raises, and some squats during a stop while we were outside. But I really want to do some pulls. It's, that's the hardest part: is tr tr figuring out how to work out your back without any equipment, without having a pull-up bar or some gymnastic strings. Good thing I brought this resistance band, and I have an idea. See that hook? You already know. not that bad. I think it's the closest thing I'm going to get to being able to do pull-ups right now. But it works. I've got the back, I've got the chest, 
knee raises, squats. No excuses. And just like that, I have a back workout station. Got in some dips, some knee raises, some squats, worked on my back, and I'm on a train. Training on a train. But there's no gym, I didn't bring any equipment. Uh, well, technically this is equipment, but you can take this anywhere. It's the beauty of res resistance bands, you should get some. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna buy some for your next travel. Basically, just find a way. Find a way to make it work. Get in some, get in some exercise during your trip. You're gonna be on a train for a long time. During the daytime, the attendant will turn the bed back into chairs. And each roommate has two beds, one up here, and then this one that turns into a bed. But, actually this is not my roommate. Since I'm traveling during COVID, there aren't really many people on board. And I, I kind of feel like I have most of the train to myself besides the few people that I've met. So I actually managed to find this roommate right across from mine, mine's right there. I decided to leave the bed out in my room. That's just the way I roll. I didn't want to put it, put the seats back. I had my stuff nice and set up. I actually came in this room to hijack their outlet because each roommate only comes with one outlet and I'm charging my camera battery in the next one. So keep that in mind. All right, we made a quick stop in Tucson, Arizona. And we're gonna be here for about 30 minutes. They're filling up the train with water and doing some other things. So I'm just gonna stretch out, and get some fresh air, hang outside for a while. The only time that we're really slow is at, right after Christmas until okay. spring break. Then spring break mm -hmm. all the way through summer, uh, uh, summer, September, October, and then the end of October, the middle of November, we start all over again for the holiday.